Hey DIYers, ever since I was a kid, I have been obsessed with t-shirt iron-ons and water slide decals. There is something magical about removing that paper backing and revealing an image. Well, recently, Hippo sent me their inkjet t-shirt transfers for dark t-shirts and their inkjet water slide paper, which means I can print almost anything on my home computer and transfer it to almost any surface. We're talking t-shirts, furniture, glass, dishes, you name it. Well, today on Make Your Mark, I am taking my love of Frida Kahlo and creating some upcycled art dolls. We're using scrap wood and some dark cotton fabric that I was about to get rid of. The techniques I'm sharing today would be great for kids' toys, an ornament, or a gift for someone who appreciates your creativity. Now before I forget, thumbs up if you like this video and leave me a comment if you have a question about this project, or you just want to say hello. And you know how much I love it when you say hello. Are you ready? Let's make some Frida Kahlo art dolls. The painter Frida Kahlo is considered one of the most significant artists of the 20th century and Mexico's greatest artistic export. Not only was Frida a formidable artist, but she was also involved in politics and was a trailblazing feminist. These plywood dolls are based on the wooden paddle doll. Wooden paddle dolls are one of the oldest ever found. They were discovered in an ancient Egyptian tomb that dates from 2000 BC. Just a quick reminder to hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment. I love chatting with you guys in the comment section. It lets me know that you're out there and watching my videos. Thanks a lot. I have been searching and searching for a heat transfer iron-on for dark fabrics forever. And hands down, Hippo makes the best one on the market. The most expensive doll ever made and sold is called the Bird Trainer and it sold for $6.25 million. It's not only a doll but an automaton which when wound with a golden key plays a flute and his eyes dart around. The stuffed toy originated from the Steiff Company of Germany in the late 19th century and gained popularity following the creation of the teddy bear in the US in 1903.
gonna leave a link for Hippo and everything I used for this project in the description below. Thumbs up if you like this video, leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and press the notification bell so you know I have a new video. Grab any one of my craft books for inspiration. I think you'll like The Big Ass Book of Crafts Volume 2. And I will see you next week. Bye.